Hi everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss an experiment. This experiment is going to prove the relation between rate of scattering and wavelength of color. We are going to prove the relation between rate of scattering and wavelength of color. The topic which we are going to cover is experiment to study scattering. If you didn't subscribe to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and visit our website www.winpointonlineclasses.com and support us for providing free online classes to everyone. For every experiment, we need some materials. Here, the requirements are strong source of light, two lenses, transparent glass tank with water, screen, sodium thiosulfate, sulfuric acid. These things we need for this experiment. Here you can see a glass tank. It is filled with water. So it is glass tank and it is filled with water. And we have two lenses, one screen. We are going to arrange everything. It is a source of light. It is a strong source of light. Here there is a lens. It is a convex lens. It is a source of light. And this one is a convex lens. It is glass tank with water. It is a cardboard. The cardboard will control the amount of light passing to the next lens. Here there is another lens. And last one is screen. These are the materials which we need to, to perform this experiment. First one is a source of white light, lens, glass tank with water and cardboard with a hole, one more convex lens and a screen. So we are going to, it is source of light and it is L1, it is tank, it is cardboard and L2 screen. When we are transmitting light from that source, this convex lens will pass that light to the tank, right? So we can see that the light is passing through this convex lens. This convex lens is going to make parallel beams of light. Here it is, strong source of light. And this convex lens is going to make parallel beams of light. That parallel beams of light are passing through this water. Parallel beam of light is passing through this water. And this cardboard will control the amount of light. and that little amount of light through this hole there is a hole here you can see the hole through that hole the light is going to enter to the second lens l2 and it is a converging lens convex lens is a converging lens and on the screen we are going to get a white light it is a white light now now we are going to start our experiment now the source is producing light that light the lens l1 is converting that light into parallel beam parallel rays and these parallel rays are passing through this water and after that it is passing through the cardboard cardboard is controlling the amount of light light is passing through the cardboard after that it is passing through the lens l2 this l2 is a converging lens on the screen we are getting on the screen we are getting white light here there is no scattering now we are going to add sodium thiosulfate into this water we are adding sodium thiosulfate into this water after some time, now we have a solution of sodium thiosulfate, right? It is a solution of sodium thiosulfate. Now we are adding sulfuric acid. First, we are taking water in the tank and we are adding sodium thiosulfate. After that, we are adding sulfuric acid. When we are adding sulfuric acid, you can see the particle formation in the container. It is a container, it's water. Now it is a sodium thiosulfate solution. When we are adding sulfuric acid into this solution, you can see the particle formation. Here you can see the particle formation. When light is passing through the solution, there will be scattering. When light is passing through the solution and the solution is consists of particles, small particles, because of these particles, there will be scattering. The colors which are having lower wavelength, it will undergo scattering. The rate of scattering will be more for them. The rate of scattering will be less for the colors having higher wavelength. Here you can, now we can observe the color change. Now it is a white light. After some time, it is changing into orange and after that it is changing into red color. It is an observation. What will be the reason behind it? When light is passing through this and when we are adding sodium thiosulfate and after that we are adding sulfuric acid, because of this reaction, there will be particle formation. Sulfur particle is going to form in this solution because of this particle there will be scattering and the resulting light will be first it will be orange then it will be red the solution the color of solution is now it is blue what is the reason behind it the reason is scattering 
violet indigo blue these colors are having less wavelength it will scatter it will undergo scattering and it will spread throughout the medium and the remaining color will be reaching on the screen that is these these colors red orange yellow these colors are going to reach there that's the reason for this color change we are adding sodium thiosulfate into water we are adding concentrated sulfuric acid into solution after two or three minutes you can see the particle formation in the solution this is our observation color of transmitted light will change first it will be orange color then bright crimson red color the reason for this color change is scattering so using this experiment we can prove the rate of scattering the relation between rate of scattering and wavelength of color the wavelength of color is inversely proportional to rate of scattering if the wavelength is less the rate of scattering will be more if the color is having higher wavelength the scatter rate of scattering will be less thanks for watching